double or twin needles are great for decorative stitching, hemming, and heirloom sewing, which give the look of ready-to-wear. At seminars, I often ask how many people have tried these specialty needles. Very few hands raised, so I'd like to share with you my favorite double needle tips, so you too will be enjoying the process and the results. Here are the most common sizes of the universal double needles. 1.6, 2.0, the medium size, three and four, and for decorative stitching, 6.0 millimeter. The size refers to the distance in millimeters between the needles. You can use the 1.6 and the two for heirloom sewing, as in this sample, tiny little pin tucks. For hemming, the 3.0 or 4.0, and then decorative stitching, top stitching or embellishing for the 6.0. A side note, you can only use the 6.0 millimeter needle if your machine can zigzag up to 6.0. As you might guess, you'll need two spools of thread to accompany both needles. I have two spools on a straw just to show whether you have a horizontal spool pin or a vertical spool pin. You always treat the threads in the same manner. One thread should unwind from the top and the other unwind from the underneath side so that the threads will not tangle together in the tension guides. If you don't have two spools of thread of the same color, wind a bobbin and stack or position the threads, again unwinding in opposite directions. I'm going to show you how I thread my machine. I'm using green thread and I'm treating both spools of thread as one and thread them through the tension guides. At the needles, separate the threads and then thread each eye. Now you can pull the threads through the needles just to straighten out the threads. And then you're ready to do the stitching. A great place to start double needle stitching is the hem area. This knit jacket and dress combo has been hemmed with double needle stitching. I chose to use the size 75 stretch needles with a 4.0 double needle. You'll find various needle sizes and types and combinations on the Nancy's Notions website. To hem, simply fold the hem at the desired width. My pattern called for an inch and a half hem, but pin from the right side. Now I'm just working with a sample. You would have a continuous hem, and I have placed a magnetic seam guide on my machine at about an inch or an inch and a fourth, and then guide the fabric underneath the foot along the seam gauge. And it's magnetic and just so having a straight stitch. You'll find parallel rows of stitching that have stretch because I've used a stretch needle. The underside, the bobbin goes between each needle and you get the look of a zigzag stitch, again giving you stretch. It's so easy to work with double needles. Nancy's Notions offers a full selection of Class A double or twin needles and knit wardrobe patterns to test out your new sewing skills. Order your supplies today.